Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Who's out there with me this morning? Let's get that there. I'll start in a second. Hey, come say hi. Down dog, nice, good start. Who's with me this morning? If you're already cozy on your yoga mat, I hate to make you get up and chat. <laughs> Gonna start in a sec. Hey, no one out there yet. Yeah. Okay, hey, put your back. Yeah, buddy, just relax. Go to your back. Buddy, stop it, please. Stop right now. What is happening? Go to your bed. Go on your bed. Go, go lie down. That's crazy, man. Lie down. Mr. B, please lie down. Good morning. <laughs> you just experienced that. That's Mr. B chasing his back leg. He does that when he gets really excited. It sounds like you're going to die, but it's actually very normal for him. <laughs> what a guy. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. That just gave you a heart attack. I feel sorry for the people that live in the basement apartment below me. <laughs> uh, okay. We're going to start. We will start on our backs, please, in Supta Baddha Konasana. Come onto your back and just land. Um, if that sound just triggered you or gave you some anxiety, I do apologize. You're completely insane. You're completely nuts. You just gotta relax. You need to relax. You're supposed to be a yoga dog. Yeah. You can't be totally crazy. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Lie down. Supta Baddha Konasana, please. Never know what the live streams if you should keep the adorable dog with you or if he's going to commit scenes. I'm going to try it for a little bit. I always give him a couple chances. Lie down. Literally, we're just outside trying to like Soles of your feet together, knees wide. So uh, my name is Mike. If you're new to me, if you're joining the channel after this live stream, <laughs> that doesn't always happen. Um, that's Mr. B. He's my, my Roddy. Um, so we're, every Sunday morning, I'm going to be live streaming. It will normally be at 9 a.m. this morning. I'm really excited. I'm going to be um, doing a Zoom call, a Zoom class with my uh, my friends in Romania, at Power Yoga Romania. So I'm catching that at 10 o'clock and I'm going to want to be uh, ending one and starting another so I can So uh, normally 9 a.m. This is an exception this weekend, but uh, we're just doing every Sunday morning. I'm going to keep doing this moving forward, regardless of what's happening, whether social um, distancing is going on or not, just um, to get up, roll out your yoga mat, and know that you don't have to go anywhere, but just uh, your living room and get in the yoga practice on Sunday morning. So this morning we'll start at Supta Baddha Konasana, like I said, soles of your feet together, come down onto your back. Right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. Close your eyes. Just start here with your ujjayi breath. Practice of breathing through the nose. Starting to make more audible breath. That same restriction in your throat, like you're fogging up a mirror. Keep the mouth closed. Five generous breaths. Fill your lungs up. Empty. Just using your breath here. Way to get more anchored into your physical body. It's breathing in this moment. Access point to presence. 
action, breathing together in, out. One more full inhale, full exhale. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Make some circles with your knees. Grab the backs of your thighs. Start to rock up and down your mat a couple of times. Control here. So you're gonna wake up your core a little bit as you rock back to front. Do a couple more. Do some movement. And you'll step back into a downward facing dog, however you get there. Step, hop, crawl, hands shoulder width apart, feet hip distance apart, yeah? And then start to get connected to your foundation here. Your hands and feet are intentional. Grounded. Press back through your tailbone. Soften into the joint. Make sure knees and elbows are rigid. Breathe in. Breathe out. more breaths. It's really feeling out your first down dog. It's getting present to your body. How does it feel this morning? Is it real? Tension somewhere? There's a distraction somewhere? Bring awareness to it. Step to the top of your mat, take ragdoll, feet as wide as your hips. Grab opposite elbows and biceps, just let the weight of the upper body go. Moving the weight of your head, you don't have to hold that up. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. First few moments of the practice, really just taking your time to get integrated here, land in your body, connect your breath, your mind, present. Inhale. Soften a little bit deeper, even further into your fold. Really letting go of the upper body. Finding balance in your practice, rest as you need it, as fully as you can. Ever you need it. And challenging yourself to work fully as well. Yeah. Fingertips to your mat. Come up to a flat back on your inhale, lengthen your spine. Then fold chest to your thighs. Extended mountain reach to the ceiling. Press into your feet. Hands to your heart center. We will start with one ohm together. Take a big breath in. Gaze to your fingers. Ooh. Open your eyes, reach your fingertips up, fold forward, chest to thighs. Halfway lift, eyes at the top of your mat, high to low plank, step back. Lower down, upward facing dog, chest forward, downward facing dog, hips go back. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Spread fingers and toes, press down into your hands and feet. Breathe in, breathe out, again. Soften the elbows and knees. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees nice and deep. Step between your hands. Halfway lift right away. Flat back. Fold. Extended mountain. Reach up to the ceiling. Press down into your feet. Fold forward. Hug into your legs. Halfway lift. Belly. Pull it in. Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low plank. Lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. You breathe, Let's reset. Dog like home base. Keep checking in, how's your body feeling after a couple of flows? With your body, 
accommodate it. Sometimes that means working a little harder if there's space for that, and that's what it wants. Lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step between your hands, halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, go up, start to go back a little bit, pull the pit of your belly in, fold forward. Halfway lift, shoulders back, Chaturanga Dandasana, heights are low, upward facing dog, lift your thighs up off the mat, downward facing dog, hips back. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Fill up, empty. Onto your toes, bend your knees, hop or step between your hands. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine, full. One more extended mountain, go up, go back, fold forward, hug in. Halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank with your breath. Upward facing dog, lift and fill. Downward facing dog, ground your hands and feet. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Eyes are open. Your drishti, your gaze, your attention. Let's focus right here. Breathe in. Ground down. Lift up onto your toes. Bend. Look forward. Hop or step where your eyes are. Flat back. Eyes at the top of your mat. Fold. Look to your belly button. Squeeze in. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink down. Gaze up towards your fingers, yeah? So take your eyes up without crunching the back of your neck. Still long in the neck, just looking at one spot past the fingers. Sit deeper. And draw the upper arm bones back. Shoulder blades onto the back. Scoop your tailbone down. More tapas now. More heat in your core. More heat in your legs, yes? Yeah? Squeeze in. Sink even deeper. Nice. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Last one. Lift your fingertips, your chest, and then fold chest to thighs. Halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot forward. Warrior one. Step between your hands. Reach your fingertips up. Sink down into your front knee. Keeping the hips square, yeah? So don't open your hips up to the side. You want to draw that right hip bone back, aligning to the front of your mat. You sink down into the front knee more. That knee is tracking over your ankle. Three breaths in and out. That heat, that fire, that tapas in your legs. Squeeze muscles to bones. Go deeper. Take one more big reach up. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. High to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, ground your feet, reach your fingers. Scoop the belly in, pull it in, and then square the hips, yeah? So the left hip bone back. True north alignment, facing the body to the front of the mat. Sink down into your front knee. A couple more, in and out. Press the feet, zipper up the legs, stay. One more, big reach up. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, five breaths, building heat, intentionally, right, like you're doing that on purpose, invite it in, give yourself the work, you took this time out of your day, make the most of it, breathe in, press down, come up onto your toes, Bend your knees, hop or step between your hands. Flat back, fold, chest to thighs. Halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, look up. Downward facing dog, eyes back. Right foot forward, warrior one. Look up to your fingertips, reach, lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side. Feet, core, hands, full expression. Chaturanga Dandasana, vinyasa, the breath moving you through. Up dog, 
downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Do that again, really expand your lungs and then empty it out. One more. Press down, hug in, lift up, bend, pop. Flat back, fall forward. Utkatasana, as deep as you can sit, fold. Halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one, feet press, reach, gaze to your fingers, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, Press, reach, and flow. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Again. Soften the joints. Steady gaze. Steady breath. In. Out, lift, bend, empty, pop, flat, and fold. Chair, Utkatasana. Fold. Halfway, belly strong. Chaturanga Dandasana, hop for step back. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Core, engage, reach to the back of your mat. Chaturanga Dandasana, core engage. You can float your right toes, try that. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, reach, engage, stretch. Chaturanga Dandasana, left toes can hover, see what happens. Up dog, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Again. Press down. Lift your right foot up. Step into crescent lunge. Keep the back heel lifted. Yeah, nice and high over the toes. Hands to heart center. So squared through the hips. Yeah, draw the right hip bone back. Twist. So lengthening through the crown of the head, forward, and then you hook that left elbow on the right knee. Shoulder integration, wrap shoulder blades onto your back. Twist the bottom rib cage up. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen. Twist. One more. Hold it here. Warrior two. Open up. Nice deep stance. So now your hips are opened up to the side of your mat, the left side of your mat. Draw inner thigh muscles towards each other though there's still that scissoring in that activation of the leg muscles sink deeper in your lunge track the knee over your ankle breathe stay build heat but still with ease not easy just ease right not suffering not desperate for the pose to be over that's where you are in your practice, then shift the pose. Take five more breaths. Really powerfully in your legs, in your core. Get into your deepest possible expression. Zipper it up. Hold for two more breaths. In and out. Gaze to that front middle finger. Hold right here. Flip in reverse. Follow your fingertip back. Extended side angle. Your right fingertips to the inside of your foot. You can have right elbow on your knee. Left arm reaches up. Option here, half bind. You take your left hand on your low back. If you want to try for a full bind this morning, so your left hand is at your low back. Right hand will reach underneath the front thigh. Yeah? And then you're looking for your fingertips behind your back. So they're engaged. You'll see this on the other side of it better. If you can reach, um, grab your fingers, you start to Draw that top shoulder back, back, yeah? So still opening up. Still twisting the bottom ribs up to the ceiling. Two more, in and out. 
last big inhale. Stay, hold it. Plant your right hand on the ground. Side plank. Step your right foot back. Lift your left arm up. Yeah? And then option, of course, if you need to drop the bottom knee down, do that for the support if that's what you need. Right? Listening to your body. What I'm doing doesn't fit in your body, then you get curious and see what you can do, right? Modifying, dropping a knee, taking a block, a prop, something to support you. Or maybe bigger, right? Maybe there's room to do more. Lift the pose up. Look up to your top fingers. If that increases instability, that's okay, right? Like working at your edge. Take one more inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Left foot. Crescent lunge. Lift your back heel up. Reach your arms up. Nice and deep in the front knee. So this knee comes in front of the front ankle, and you can wiggle your front foot a little further forward. Right? Take a longer stance. Hands to heart center, lengthen, and then twist, right elbow to the left knee, back heel, back kneecap still lifted up and engaged, hands towards the center of your chest, really squeeze your core, twist your spine, two more, in and out, lengthen the back leg, twist the upper body, warrior two, open up, get into a long stance. Like challenge yourself right from the beginning, yeah? And then see what's possible. If you have to straighten out the front leg for a moment, do it, right? It's about 10 breaths. Not counting, desperate for it to be over. Like I challenge you not to count. That's what I'm here for. Just hold and breathe. In and out. Arm up your legs. Soften your shoulders. Already halfway there. Five generous breaths. Full of breath. Hold for a full inhale. Full exhale. Gaze into that front middle finger. Flip and reverse. Follow your drishti back. Extended side angle. Start here, elbow to knee or fingertips down, right? Top arm up, just feel that reach, find that space. Half bind from the other side, looks like this, right? Just hand at your low back. So your palm is flat on your sacrum, the center of your low back, and then you can use that as leverage to twist. If you have the mobility, that bottom arm reaches underneath the front thigh, and then you find your fingertips behind your back when you hook them. From here, it's not closing, you don't wanna be Closing down to the floor, keep opening. So the shoulder blades back, bottom ribs, twist up, press down into your feet. Inhale, exhale, strong core, squeeze and twist. Plant your hand on the floor, left hand, left foot back, side plank, option for bottom knee down. Reach that right arm up. Any variation. Getting curious about where you can go. It's not the other side. It's a new moment. It's a new pose. New experience. If you fall out, you just come right back in and set it up. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more full breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow with your breath. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Fullest breath in. Fullest breath out. Up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hopper step between your hands. Halfway lift. Full. Chair. Twist to the right. So hook your left elbow on your right knee. The tendency here will be for that left knee to try to pop forward. Draw it back in line with the right, yeah? And also the tendency is for the shoulders to roll forward. Draw them back. Really engage shoulder blades onto the back for that twist. Your 
core muscles are on fire to support the low back, to stabilize through the twist. Breathe in. Go deeper. One more. Twist it out. And release. Fingers to toes. Take your feet as wide as your hips. With your peace fingers, scoop up your big toes. And then just let go of the upper body. And close your eyes here. Breathe. Let go of your upper body and sway from side to side. You can be in perfect stillness, right? It's really what your body wants what your mind needs to get present. Let go of distraction, tension, resistance. Just getting more present with each breath. We're either getting more present or less, right? Choose more. Fingertips to your mat, big toes touch. Heels just a little bit apart and then move into chair twist on the left. Again, check the knees. That right knee might try to pop forward, draw it back, line them up. Shoulders back, hands at the center of your chest. Try to get your chest off your thighs. Yeah, you want to lift up and draw back to twist. Inhale, exhale, one more lengthen and twist. Release, fold, gorilla. Feet hip distance apart, slide the palms underneath the feet. Let go of the front of your head. And shake it out, yes, and no, it's really feeling the release of any tension in your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Release your feet. We'll move into Malasana this morning. If you really want to do crow, um, by all means, but we're going to hold Malasana for a little bit, so you might do a couple crows. Um, block is an option if you need some support. So let's set this up. So your feet are going to be a bit wider than your mat. I'm turning so you can see what I'm doing. Um, feet a bit wider than your mat. Turn your toes out a little bit. So instead of your feet being parallel, you're going to turn the toes out at like a I don't know, 45 degree angle, maybe a little less than that. And then come down into a deep squat. So it's yoga squat. And then from here, um, again, if you're using the block, it can be underneath your bum for support. Line it up width wise for so it supports both your bum cheeks, yeah? Whether you're using that or not. So um, elbows to the insides of your thighs, okay? So you're going to bring hands at heart center. What's happening here is you're pressing out through the elbows and you're squeezing in through the knees. So there's like a lot of action happening at that connection between the elbow and the knee. Lift up the crown of your head, right? So it's not um, dipping down like this. You want to stay nice and tall. Like a string is pulling the crown of your head straight up. Take five breaths. Whoop. <laughs> Take five breaths here. If you fall out, you just begin again. Don't put meaning on it. Don't dwell in it. Next breath. New opportunity. Three more. Close your eyes. You feel that press. The elbows out. Hug the knees in. Belly strong. Spine tall. Hold, squeeze, press. Hands on your mat. Do that first and then slowly lift the hips. And you'll just. Keep your feet where they are. Sway your hips from side to side, like bend the right knee and straighten the left. And then do that the other way a couple times. Just feel that in your hips. Come back to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. And fold. Sweep all the way up. Eagle on the right side. Take your right arm under. Right leg over. The left. Sink down into your standing leg. 
keep the elbows high, so not down here, right? You want to be up, elbows in line with shoulders. Hands press into each other and come away from the face. Yeah. Option here, of course, genie arms. Yeah. So you can just press the arms into each other, get the similar activation. Breathe in, breathe out, switch sides. Left arm under, left leg over. Squeeze biceps, squeeze inner thighs, and then bend the right standing knee a little more. Inhale, exhale, elbows left, press, squeeze, sweep up, right side, eagle pose. Same pose, new experience of it, yeah? Something different here, different activation, different focus, different thought process, whatever it is, land, sink into it. Inhale, exhale, full breaths, steady gaze. Keep your eyes right where they are and then switch to the left side. Yeah, don't look around. So getting more present to drishti, where your attention is, where you're looking is part of that. You really commit to one spot, it helps to presence you. Your drishti is also inside, right? Where your focus is, where your thoughts are, what your attention's put on. Mentally, present, sink deeper, sweep up, standing leg raise. So you'll grab onto your right knee and you'll open up to the side again. And then you can extend out through your left arm. Cactus the arm is an option. Keep your belly strong now, yeah? keep it hugged in. Breathe in. Breathe out, inhale here, bring your knee back to center, extend straight forward through your foot, arms reach up, airplane, sweep back, heel to the back of your mat, fingertips reach back as well. And the tendency here will be for the, um, the right hip to try to lift up, yeah, your toes will face out to the right side of the room, resist that, yeah, you're squaring the hips down, by turning the left pinky toe down towards the floor. Really good, breathe in, breathe out. Lift your chest, squeeze, press down into that left foot, hands to your heart center, half moon pose. So a good place for a block if you need it. You're bringing the left fingertips down to the ground or a block, right fingertips up, and then you stack the joints. So shoulders stack, hips stack. Now you're opening your hips to the right side of your mat. You can gaze to the side wall. You can gaze up to your top fingers. Challenge your balance. Express fully in your pose. Breathe in and then release. Feet together. Strategic falling out, ending the pose. Halfway lift and full. Sweep all the way up. Standing leg raise on the left. So you grab the left knee. Open up to the side. Core strong. Is steady. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Open more. Take a full inhale. Bring your foot back to whoop. <laughs> I'm wobbly today. Bring your foot back to center. Extend your leg forward. Reach your arms up. And then fly back into airplane pose. Some days you're wobblier than others. Who cares? Turn down the left pinky toe, right? Like not making meaning if your body is not showing up the way that your brain wants it to. That's a huge breakthrough in your yoga practice. Lift, lengthen, hands to heart center, open to half moon pose. Right? Like so fascinating the story I know that I can make about my body, about like, my abilities just from like a moment of something not working the way I want it to. And just be aware of that, right? If you fall out, you're not a bad yogi. You didn't like fail at the pose. There's no, it's a practice, right? The practice is just beginning again. The practice is just like as many times as you fall, how quickly do you get back up and start over without meaning, without judgment, without criticism of yourself, just joy, playfulness, right? Like curiosity about where you can go. Take a breath in. And then release, feet together, full, halfway left, full. Sweep all the way up, take dancer on the right side, grab the inside of your right foot, 
you can start, if you're um, you know, feeling unstable, you take maybe the left hand down to your thigh. Just keep the back leg kind of lower down. If you start to express out, just play with that. Like more expression out. You hug in to express out, right? So that engagement of muscles, going into like even mentally getting internal, being here in your physical body in the pose instead of somewhere else, like last week, tomorrow, how you want it to be, how it was, who cares? Right here, right now, your fullest expression, and then release, switch sides. Every moment, new experience. Whether you're the first time you've ever done this practice, or you've done it hundreds or thousands of times, right? Like getting curious about what you can do today to make it new, to make it interesting. What are you putting importance on? Like where is the energy? Where is the focus? Keep it here, keep it now, keep it empowering. Take a big inhale and release, let it go. Tree, on the right side, Take, um, you can have a kickstand, so this is an option. Sometimes this feels great for me, like I've got um, some issues in my left knee, so I might take a st stabilizing kickstand, the inner calf, all right, it can be inner thigh. Depends on the day, what feels good for me, like it's not, like it has to always be up here in the inner thigh, right? And the option, um, if you're doing this, make sure it's above the knee. You do not want to press right on the side of your joint ever, okay? Again, start at heart center. And then option be right here. This is a powerful experience in your pose, right? Whatever your body wants to do, you can grow your tree. Any arm variation, be curious. Find space. Breathe in, breathe out. One more full breath and release. Switch sides. Left tree. Feet press to center. Belly pulls in towards your spine. Hands in the heart center. Connection with your shoulders. Everything squeezing into center line. It gives you experience to express out. It gives you access to something bigger. Breathe in. Breathe out. Intentional with your feet. Your hands, your core, your fullest expression, and release. Sweep your arms up to the ceiling. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Spine long. Neck long. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Warrior two, Trikonasana, straighten the front leg, move forward and down. You can have your palm grounding into the front of your shin. So this is if you don't have a block, it's an option because you want to um, be careful of dumping into your side body. So I can bring my fingers to the ground, but this feels kind of crunchy here. It doesn't even like it hurts, but it just doesn't, over time that kind of stuff adds up, right? So this is where a block, a water bottle, Whatever you've got, just to bring the floor up a bit higher to keep that space in the side of your body. If there's no prop available, then it's grounding the palm. Not grabbing, right? Because it doesn't seem like grabbing your shin. Let's find space. Press down to lift up out of your right side body. Draw back the left shoulder blade. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Twist. Pull up to stand all the way up. Turn your feet so they're parallel, so your feet parallel to the ends of your mat, and then fold, hands on your hips, the chest, all the way down. You can do whatever feels good with your hands. They can just be on the floor. You can kind of walk them back through your legs. You grab your ankles. Wherever you are, soften your knees. The tendency might be for them to lock out a little bit. Soften them and then shift the weight forward a little tiny bit so you're kind of taking your hips forward towards your toes. Really let go of the weight of your head. Breathe in, breathe out. Pyramid pose. Walk your hands over to your right foot. You'll turn your right toes to 12 o'clock at the front of your mat 
step your back foot in about a third of the length and you'll take your toes on. They might be at 12 o'clock, they might be more at like 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, just off from center, right? And then let the upper body go. Let the crown of your head dangle down. Breathe. Halfway lift. You'll make your way into triangle on the left side. You can flow through high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. You can just switch your feet. Left foot at the top of your mat at 12 o'clock. Right foot is off to two or three o'clock. Come up, straighten the legs. And again, grab your prop if you need that support. Right fingertips reach up. Right shoulder blade draws back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shoulders integrate onto the back. One more. Twist the upper body and then gaze to your top fingers. Pull up to stand. Turn your legs in. Toes in, I should say, and then fold over your legs here. Wide leg fold. Hands can be on the ground. You can interlace your hands at your low back. That's an option here. Round down. Lift your inner thigh muscles up to the ceiling. Feel that legs working. Shift your hips forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Big inhale. Hold right here. Release your hands. Walk them over to your front foot. Pyramid pose. Front foot at 12 o'clock. Back foot at 2 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Let the upper body melt over the front thigh. Breathe in, breathe out, soften your knees. They don't want to be rigid, right? I have hyperextending knees. That's a, kind of like a curse. If you have that, you might not even realize the damage it can do the long of all the time. Like 22 years after a knee injury and I still find myself doing it. So there's like always possibility for a new focus, right? Catch it. How can you make your body feel better aligned, safer, stronger. Let the upper body go. Come up to a flat back. Step back to high plank. Low plank. High plank. Slowly lower to your belly for the count of five. Slow, slow, slow through chaturanga. Four, three, two, and one. Let yourself come down. Take one cheek to your mat. Belly shavasana. So this is just like Resting, yeah? Lie here. Take a moment to rest. Close your eyes. Breathe. Bring your chin back to center. Tuck your chin. Reach your arms back. We'll move into locust pose. So lift up chest, arms legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Interlace your hands. Stay lifted. Bound locust pose. Press your knuckles back. Squeeze your shoulders onto your back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Stay lifted. Bend your knees. Floor bowl. Three more breaths. You've got it. Stick to it. Kick back. Hug in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Gaze forward. Lift your collarbones higher. And Peace all the way down. Opposite ear to your mat. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step through. Come down onto your back. Move into bridge or wheel. If you practice wheel, go for it. If you don't practice wheel, I have a wheel, a backbend workshop from a few weeks ago. Scroll down on my YouTube channel, check it out. Gives you tips on how to get into wheel if you think you can't. Gives you tricks if you're already there, how to make it bigger, fuller. Lift up your hips wherever you are. Ground down your heels. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inner thigh muscles, squeeze them to the bones and then lift your hips higher. Ground your triceps into the floor. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, fullest expression wherever you are, and release all the way down, knees from side to side. 
Set yourself up for break your wheel again. Hands, feet, core, lift. Breathe in. Breathe out. Press down. Tom looks like he's dead. He's like crazy, and then he's like totally unconscious. Look at this. The fiery part. It's supposed to be fiery here. Always oh, dreaming. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more. Come all the way down. He's hunting something. Take your knees from side to side. I don't know if you guys can see that. He looks like he's chasing. In the chase. Focus on your practice. <laughs> I should be too. Go up in a wheel. Last one right here. Right? Present. There's distractions around you. How can you let them go? How can you get more present to the pose that you're in? To the breath that you're breathing. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. And ground. Last one here. Squeeze in. And slowly come down. Tuck your chin. Supta Vada Konasana. Right where we started our practice. Soles of your feet together. Knees open up nice and wide. Right hand on your belly. Left hand on your heart. Just close your eyes. Let your body land. Take a moment of rest again. Tension and release, right? Balancing that on your mat. You practice. It's totally individual to you. If you're capable of doing more work, or maybe your brain just doesn't want to, or just check in. What's stopping you? What holds you back from the full experience? Like if you resist resting, if it's like agitates you to be still and to stop moving and to just lie there, amazing. That's your work in your yoga practice. That's your challenge is just being okay with being still, having nothing to do. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Thread the needle on your right side. We're going to stay on our backs this morning for the rest of the practice. So take your right ankle on your left knee. If you're desperate for um, half pigeon, go for it. But we're not going to be here for too, too long. Draw um, and thread the needle. Right ankle on your left knee. Yeah, I'm reaching through. So one arm goes through the opening of my legs. The other one's on the outside. And you reach and interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Pull the left knee in towards your chest. And at the same time, my right elbow is pushing my right knee away from me. You'll see this on the other side of it better. But left knee comes in, right knee pushes out. And the feet are active. They're not just kind of hanging there dead. If you flex the feet, it brings more activation to the legs and the stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. A couple more. Pull in the left thigh. Push out the right knee. Take one more breath in. One more breath out, and switch sides. Left ankle on your right knee. Interlace the fingers behind the right thigh, and then pull it in. So again, this uh, the left knee will be coming in towards your chest more. You want to use that elbow, connect to the knee, or the inner thigh, and push away the right knee as you draw in the left. I said that wrong. Push away the left knee as you draw in the right. Breathe in. Core is engaged, head and shoulders on the floor. Just pull in, work the legs, the hips, a couple more. Get that stretch as deep as you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Happy baby, grab the outsides of your feet, pull your knees down towards your armpits, and just a gentle rock from side to side. Move into an inversion. So waterfall or shoulder stands. If you're moving in a waterfall, grab a prop here. Um, block underneath your low back. It can be your hands underneath your low back, underneath, uh, beside your tailbone, just something to support the legs. Arms fall open. If you want to move into shoulder stand, that's bringing the hips all the way up, hands at the low back. I'm feeling a waterfall this morning. You do you. Having a class to follow along to and then really getting clear that it's your own practice, it's your own body. 
you need to rest when I'm not saying to, then you rest, right? And if you can do more work than I'm asking of you, then do the extra work. Challenge yourself. Set aside the time to get on your yoga mat. That's really the most challenging part. It's just making the time and putting importance on that, like self-care, movements. It's like your physical and mental well-being, right? Putting that time aside is a challenging part. For me, anyway. Once you're here, you've already committed. Make the choice to just keep working. And like I said earlier, sometimes the work, you know, for me, it's just being okay with being still and not having anything to do. If you're in shoulder stand, you can move through plow and death man's pose. So from shoulder stand, plow is feet and the head. If you're on a block, just stay where you are. Death man's pose, the knees come beside the ears. Nice and slow, roll back down onto your mat. We'll move into a supine twist. Extend your left leg long, draw the right knee into your chest, and then you'll draw with your left hand, your right knee across your body, over to the left side of your mat. Both shoulders stay on the ground. You can cactus your arm on the right side, whatever feels good. Keep the right shoulder down and then Slide your left hand down the outer right thigh to deepen the twist. Gently guiding yourself there. You're never forcing a twist, never pinching. Come back to center. Square your hips at center. Draw the left knee into your chest and then draw it across your body with the right hand. So my twist. Shoulders on the ground. Just want to avoid like drawing the knee all the way over to the floor and then this shoulder lifts up. You want to keep the shoulder grounded. Really connect the point to the floor. Lengthen through the side body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back to center. Give your knees a squeeze. Supta Baddha Konasana. Three breaths. Land full circle. This is where we started. Scan your body. Acknowledge your body for all the work it did this morning. Acknowledge yourself for setting aside the time to move your body. It's gratitude for the strength your body has. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself one final squeeze. Lift your shoulders, forehead to your knees. Take a big breath in. And then release. Final Shavasana. Close your eyes. Just rest. I mean, Shavasana can seem like such a simple pose. And really, I know for me, this took me years to get the power of it and the importance actually committing to it, to be present, to be still. It's really a practice of learning how to put yourself at ease. Especially if you feel agitated doing it. If you get agitated, if you get distracted, don't judge yourself, don't be critical. Breath. Focus on the connection of your body supported by your mat. Air on your skin. Sensations in your muscles. Styling into the here and now. Again and again.
full exhale. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a body stretch like from fingertips to toes, lengthen the whole body. Roll onto one side, fetal position. Just rest there for a moment. For being calm. Come up to a seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Keep your eyes closed. You can gaze to the center of your forehead internally, hands up heart center. And we'll finish the practice with one powerful ohm. Take a big breath in. Bring your thumbs to the center of your forehead. The light in me acknowledges the light in whoever is out there practicing with me. I thank you for finding the time in your day and with your body. Together we bow and we say Namaste. Thank you, yogis. Um, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be here every Sunday morning. It'll normally be at 9 a.m. doing the live stream if you're catching this afterwards. Um, thank you for joining me. Hit the like. Uh, below, hit the notification bell so that you get a reminder whenever I'm going to be going live. And yeah, lots more content to come. Keep moving your body. Um, keep nourishing your body and stay connected to your yoga mat. Yeah, thank you. And I will see you soon. I come over there. Ivanka and, yes, Ivanka and Max, so good. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. You dragged him onto his yoga mat again. So good. <laughs> awesome. So I'm teaching in Romania in like five minutes or something. I'm supposed to be on that call. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for joining me. Have an awesome Sunday. If it's Sunday when you're watching this, have an awesome rest of your day, whatever day it might be. And uh, yeah, take care. I will see you soon.